good afternoon. Lovely Saturday afternoon down on the allotment. Stay tuned and I'll show you what's been going on. Amazing. <laughs> so, uh, just to save on the money, uh, I'll do sponge later on. But what we used here is a um, just a double quilt and a double quilt cover. So, basically, just cut the quilt cover up along the centre because obviously there's the, the the buttons for the back. Uh, run a stitch, obviously inside out. Run a stitch all the way along. Same with the bottom one, cut the quilt to the size and um, plonked it in. So now we've got a lovely relaxing area. And of course, dear wifey, she's now complaining because she wants a puffet. So all joking to be had, I said to her about, well, Al, I don't make this. So this can really climb up and come up and out. And I can make you a little day bed. So she can lay here in a nice little day bed and watch me down the allotment. To which she said, that's a good idea. <laughs> it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> that is not gonna happen. So what's been going on in the, the pot and shed? Uh, found him on the, the floor in the, the greenhouse, so we're We'll leave him out, we'll leave him in the sunshine and only, um, when we get home we'll just put him on the window ledge, see if he goes red. And then I can have a taste of me first tomato, but you know, rather than waste him. Uh, little pot nut area. Uh, this is what we done the other day. Uh, so obviously it's all coming up now. <laughs> the wife being the wife, we sat here, potting away doing all the seeds and she's not marked up anything so these these are carrot that's a carrot that might not be a carrot that is a carrot these I do not know yet so um <laughs> she suffers from fog she can't remember things bless her but there she is she's just want to have a little gut putting the radishes in she likes to get around today but like I said, I'll finish them off. She can come up here and sit in her day bed. Uh, greenhouse. Mm, everything's still growing. I've uh, supported the um, big balls now. Because uh, I'm a little bit worried. Because like we say, they're supposed to be three and a half pound each. Tomatoes. So times that by one, two, three, four, five. I can't imagine five three and a half pound tomatoes supporting themselves on that. Who knows, they may do. I mean, the, the, the plant may be made of steel for all I know. Uh, as I said in the previous video, I've topped him. I don't want him growing any bigger. These ones are going to be topped today. This one, this one, and this one. Uh, the ones that we took out that I was worried about that nearly died. I mean, look at them, they've come on beautiful. But the, the other main worry is now these triffids. Uh, I mean, this cucumber plant is just going out of control. I mean, his leaves on him are absolutely huge. And um, he's just overshadowing. So we, we know for next year that when we put one of these in here, we, we just won't have no tomato plants. As I said, we, we've probably got too many tomato plants anyway. I'll do a, a few more outside. Because I do like my tomatoes. But I'll do a few more outside and probably keep the tomato plants confined to probably just the back and along here and then here I'll just I'll just have all all cucumbers or perhaps I should put the cucumbers over that side yeah yeah so the way the sun comes in comes in up and over that way so yeah cucumber plants yeah uh, I'll start again like so I'll, di I'll dig these up and we'll have the cucumbers that side Tomato plants that side. Now that sounds like a plan. Already planning for next year. Chilies, I'm gonna have me one of them. 
I ain't gonna eat one of them, not up here, just in case I, uh, <laughs> I need lots of milk. Not that I, I drink milk afterwards, it might be sick, but um, lots of water. Yeah, yeah, we'll have one of them. What are they there, uh, cayenne, I believe. Sticks uh, onions are really coming on. Getting quite big now. As I said, we put ours in a little bit later than everyone else. Um, everyone else is uh, sort of popping out. Uh, Brussels and the beetroot have gone crazy, so I'm going to take this off today. Uh, same with the, the ones down the bottom. They're coming off. My little cucumber plants are doing really well outside. some cucumbers growing already uh, crystal lemon still in flower nothing really coming uh, so that's that's worked out well the guy come up the other day to me um, was quite impressed with the way I was growing my um, courgettes hmm. I'll, I'll just explain to them that well they're not courgettes they're, um, they're cucumbers which he'd uh, never seen them grow like that before but I've only seen this from, um, who is it, I think it's uh, Viv's Garden. Viv's Garden, I got this idea from her on her YouTube channel. So uh, I thought I'd give it a go because it looked good. It looked good. Uh, tomato plant, still in flower. Still looking good. Steve's doing a grand job. <laughs> Oh, I've got lots of net to change. I'll just pull these nets up. And there's our courgettes. And this, this, this is just our word. Hmm. This is another net I've got to take off. Um, probably the same on the parsnips. So, uh, everything you think that, when you're building it, you think, oh, get about that big. Oh, my word. As I said, uh, next year I'm going to try and build just a, Great big frame like the guys have got up top there, but I'm going to use like a mini marquee and uh, just put a net over it because it'll be a lot cheaper doing it that way. Cabbages coming on. Now, this one seems to be coming on now. If you look back over the past videos, he was, um, he wasn't doing too well at all. Same with when I was on about, we had uh, just the three left of um, cauliflower, then we left with the two because this one's gone. Yeah, uh, but this one suddenly popped up. Bizarre. Swedes are doing well, and so are the beans. That were. It's very sluggy, isn't it? I'll get some slug pellets around here in a minute. Get some of them out. Um, there's me runner beans. Pear tree. I've had a bit of a trim back. Got all the dead off him. And the broccoli is all coming back. But I think it's just going to keep going back to seed. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Nothing on that one. Yeah, so I may, I may just pull them out. As you see, we've taken the, the broad beans out. Uh, these flowers, whatever horse you called them, was in this nos, this nos. Nostradamuses. <laughs> They're all coming up now. Looks like that one's had a good old one's had a good old munch of that. Uh, yeah, but this is this has gone mad. This is good. And we took out the the peas. Uh, so quite a bit going on. As for the shed, I'll finish off the shed if you see. See the roof? So I've basically just put a bit of batten round, just to tie it all in, got rid of the untidy edge. And then just put some batten down the sides. Just to smarten it up a bit. Uh, just put a bit of um, board on there to give us a flat surface, so when we pot them up, we can just put, the, put them down when they're there. I'm gonna build a, uh, we'll just get some little, um, uh, like little locks, you know, the little pushy up locks. So they push up and then going into the wood there. And that's the way we're securing that. So we get rid of that unsightly thing. 
Uh, same with this, just in case uh, caught a bit short. Want to use the bucket for now. Wets only, no number twos. But then again, I suppose if you're caught short and you need a number two, uh, I'd probably risk it. Yeah, you'd have to, wouldn't you? Wouldn't want to do it in the car. Uh, got a little door handle on it. Same on the other side. And I'm going to have to put a, a chain on, uh, probably here. Have it secure there, just keep the door open. For now, it just a little bit of wood suffices. Like so. Yeah, so. And we've got a shelf. And some wet wipes. Yeah. That's not for number twos, that's for your hands. Get rid of your green. Yeah, to get rid of your dirty brown fingers. And gardening. Uh, right, okay, that's that for now, for the minute. I'm just going to crack on and get the rest of the uh, the stuff in. Uh, we've got some radishes, some lettuce, and some carrots to put in. So we'll get that done. I won't film for now, because obviously the battery's low, and I've not got a tripod. So, uh, see you in a minute. Gooseberries, and they lovely. Beneath, beneath them. Probably get belly ache later. Right, oh, let's show you. So these breathed a sigh of relief when I took the netting off them. They're like, that. <sighs> they're all done. Uh, we got our little rows of radishes in. So we got 18 radishes, radishes plants in. Red radishes. Radishes, 18 rash, 18, 18, 18 radishes. Set it down. And I've made a, a superstructure. Net wasn't quite big enough. So uh, when I get the other one here, that just tie that in. So that's a bit better. No, I don't think it's going to grow much taller than that anyway, but it um, gives them a little bit more room. Right, back up for a brew. Want to see Queen Bee? Queen Bee. Hello. Queen Bee. Sit on a big throne. Is there room for me there? Mm. I bet you're all yawning now. Right, that's enough for today. I think it's time to uh, time to go. Time to knock it on the head. It's been a good sort of four hours, isn't it? Uh, Aye, I would say so. So we're looking. Almost five o'clock. All done. All netted back up. Steve's out on sentry duty. Got some gooseberry jam to make. I still don't all get eaten in the process. Make sure we're not missing anything. Right. See you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye.